Thank you, Speaker. My adjournment matter is for the Minister for Education and I'm seeking his urgent action to change a departmental directive that risks leaving rural and regional children who have a diagnosis of autism without the help they need in the classroom for longer than necessary. I was contacted by a highly respected and experienced paediatrician recently about this change that now requires schools to provide a report not only from a paediatrician with a diagnosis, but a speech therapist report and an IQ assessment, but also a report from a psychologist to confirm the diagnosis after observing the child in the classroom setting. This is adding another layer of red tape to the process and with appropriate qualified psychologists in rural and regional areas, few and far between, we are potentially leaving these kids without help for much longer than they need. In my region, there are only two psychologists able to compile such a report. Both have waiting lists for over 12 months to see new clients already. So in 2017, when I was a member of the Family and Community Development Committee, which held an inquiry into services for people with autism spectrum disorder, that inquiry heard from a large range of people across the state who gave us a great wealth of information about how to best help people who are on the spectrum. One of the key messages we received was that we need more clinicians uh, and intervention at the earlier stages was critical. The committee received a substantial amount of evidence concerning the early years of living with ASD, especially the difficulties associated with obtaining a diagnosis and therefore accessing appropriate early intervention services. We heard there were a number of barriers people faced in obtaining a diagnosis and supports including lack of services in rural and regional areas, inadequate numbers of speech pathologists, paediatricians and psychologists trained in ASD assessment. So what the Education Department is now requiring ignores those concerns that were raised in that report about access to services, particularly in rural and regional areas. Added to the issues around the number of psychologists in my electorate is the tyranny of distance. If a psychologist is required to travel to a school to see a student, it may mean spending over an hour in the car each way probably longer in other large rural electorates. It's not effective use of their time and will mean waiting times will be even longer when travel time is being accounted for. Our committee hearing found that there was a severe lack of early intervention, which we know is so vital to ensure children have the best start in life. This new education department requirement is going to lengthen processes and waiting times and will mean children will have to wait longer to get the support they need. So completely missing the opportunity for early intervention. I, I ask you, Minister, to immediately address this, rural po this new policy setting to ensure kids with autism spectrum disorder in rural and regional schools can get access to the help and support they need as soon as they need it. Member for Eltham.